Hey there, it's John Siskovich with FarmMarketingSolutions.com, and it's day number five of my 100 days to sell out my CSA here on YouTube. So I've been cataloging a video every single day on what I'm doing to sell out my CSA. Now this first week, I've been concentrating on infrastructure. I'm setting up my sales funnel so that as I meet new people or people find my material, they know where to go to find out more and to sign up for my CSA. So today what I did was go over to campsroadfarm.com as I'm the farm manager at Camps Road Farm and I updated our CSA sales page. Now this isn't the first CSA that I've done and I know a lot of the questions that people have asked in the past. And what I've done on my sales page here is figure out or you know I've cataloged through the years all the questions that people have asked me, things that you know they wanted more information about and I made sure to put it on the sales page. And year to year, all I do is update the date on it and update a few of the details, just go through it. Uh, it's already pre-written for me. That's the wonderful thing about this is that after the first time you do it, it's already there. So starting at the top, I'm gonna show you what's on my sales page and go over you know, what I put on there and why, why I put it on there. Now there's a lot of different theories on sales page and I'm sure there's different strategies and techniques that I could be doing a little bit better or some whatever. I'm gonna show you what has worked for me. Uh, it didn't take that much time or effort and I didn't need any like graphic design or anything really fancy to do this. So we'll start at the top, Camps Road Farm Chicken CSA. Real nice heading, lets people know what they're there for. And you'll see that I highlighted exactly what they're gonna, you know, just kind of a summary, just with these three little bullet points, raised on pasture, fed supplemental certified organic grain from Morrison's Feeds. You know, I, you know, it's a, a plug for Morrison's. I put their link on there, so if anybody has any questions about the feed, they can find out information for themselves. And processed at a USDA licensed facility that is Camps Road Farm approved. And that was important to me because not every USDA facility is created equal. And the one that I go to, Westminster Meats in Vermont, happy to plug them because they are wonderful. The guy, Dan, really good guy. Uh, and the facility, I've seen the inside of the facility. I've talked to the staff. I mean, really, really good place. So, you know, Camps Road Farm approved. Uh, and then I go into the who, what, where, why, when. So who chicken, I give just two paragraphs of kind of the history of Camps Road Farm, what I'm offering, um, what exactly it is, just like a real summary uh, of the farm and you know what's behind it. Uh, and me as the farm manager, I've had a chicken CS CSA in the past and that's what I'm using you know because I, I switched farms. Uh, I'm letting people know that the quality that they came to expect from the experience that they had in 2013, they can expect that in 2014 as well. So you know I'm not writing a novel, I'm not preaching anything, just giving a little summary. And you'll see, I pepper in images. Now, if you have a large body of text, you know, I put in bullet points, I put in headlines. Um, this is important as we go through to add in stuff to break up the text, make it a little more interesting, not just overwhelm people. If you had just a, a strict column of text, uh, it would be terrible to read. So next I go into what chicken. I have a picture of my chicken tractors. Uh, this was when I just moved to Cans Road Farm and they were on just this, you know, it was just recently mowed down. Uh, and they were headed out to a, a more overgrown pasture. Um, you know, 100% chicken, 100% all chicken, no bull. Uh, and I just give a few highlights about the chicken, uh, again, with some links to contact us if you have any questions. We have nothing to hide, total transparency. Uh, people really respect that. And I get $6 a pound for my chicken. Uh, there's a reason why. Uh, because my through transparency, I show people how hard I'm working, what my chicken's are eating, their lifestyle, everything that goes into it so people know why there's a difference between that $1.29 a pound chicken in the supermarket and that $6 a pound chicken that they get from me. Uh, really important for my business. So where chicken, also very important. People need to know where they're gonna get it, how far they're gonna have to travel. Now the farm is located in Kent, Connecticut, which is pretty much a half an hour from everything <laughs> major, um, which is, far for people to drive their drive. I found that, you know, they, they want to be a little bit closer. So I'm at the farmer's market on the green in downtown New Milford from Saturdays between nine and 12. And all this info real brief, just laid out, uh, when chicken middle of June through the end of October, uh, I have some exact dates now, so I got to update this. 
the beautiful thing about it being online, it's not a flyer that I printed out and once it's printed, it's there forever. With it being online, I can go through and edit the dates or edit any of this information at any time if I want to change feed companies or if there's any information or pictures. Um, like I said, really easy to edit and it's up there in perpetuity uh, until I take it down. And then why chicken? You'll see this is one of the biggest sections. Uh, and this is more of the benefits, uh, what people are getting, how it's benefiting them. Um, it just, you know, why, why would you pay that $6 a pound? And you'll see, I put a picture of a nicely roasted chicken uh, that one of my CSA members sent me. Uh, I actually got to eat some of that chicken. It was about as amazing as, amazing as it looks. Uh, so I wanted to include that. Uh, just highlighting the birds, you know, uh, less saturated fat, uh, fewer calories, just some scientific information that I found from some independent studies that were done. Uh, and then I highlight how much chicken, uh, and that's how much does the chicken cost. And I break down the share exactly what people are getting. You know, they're making a big investment in the farm, $480 uh, for 20 weeks of chickens. That's a, that's a lot of money. So I break down one chicken, four pounds, one pound, and you could do this for vegetables. You could do this for anything. Uh, one of the things I offered it's, you know, it's no skin off my back, but just to give, put the idea in people's heads, um, they're not always going to create this on their own. So might as well just give them that little, little push. Uh, if they want to get a full share, they don't know if they're going to eat it all. They can split it with a friend. You know, I'm not going to cut the chickens in half, but you can alternate winks, picking up your and cutting it yourselves. Uh, half shares are available this year, which is something new that I'm doing. I had a lot of requests for that. You always listen to what the customer wants and then you provide it. Uh, it's a good way to do business <laughs> unless it's completely ridiculous, but you know, and then some is, uh, some members have chosen to buy two shares in the past, uh, and they eat one and then save the other for the winter. That's because chicken, you can freeze it. Uh, that works out really well. I actually have a number of people who have bought two shares a piece, uh, which is great because I have to do less marketing, <laughs> uh, but those people really enjoy the chicken. Uh, how do you benefit from a chicken? I wrote this because I'll be selling at a farmer's market to restaurants and through the CSA. And I wanted to highlight the benefits of selling through the CSA because demand is high and I may not be able to keep up with it uh, because I want to make sure that my business grows sustainably. Uh, I, you know, I need it to be viable, but I need the health and well-being of my birds to be a priority and I can't grow too big too fast. Otherwise, I might sacrifice on some of that. And it's really got to be all about the birds because if the birds are happy, Everyone else, by default, is going to end up happy. So I gave people several options to sign up uh, with step-by-step -step instructions for each. Uh, you can do send me a check by mail by downloading the form, by clicking the link, fill out the form, mail it in uh, with a check, and then I'll, I'll email you a confirmation. Uh, you can do it by PayPal, and I set up a PayPal button through PayPal. Uh, there's tutorials for this online. They make it very easy. I put in an option for half share, full share. Uh, this isn't a very technical thing to do, but uh, very simple. And I, you'll note here that I bumped up the price because PayPal charges me a commission. So I figured out what that percentage rate is, and I added that to the price. And I even put it on my PayPal section. The price has been adjusted on PayPal because they charge us a fee to process tr transaction. And if you're paying by check, there's no transaction fee. If you're paying by PayPal there's a transaction fee. And instead of eating that cost myself, I pass it on to the customer and it doesn't deter people. Um, you know, if they don't want to pay it, it's more incentive for them to fill out the form and send it in. And then if anybody has any questions or if they want to contact me in person, I put my contact info here, not just a general, you know, contact camps road farm, but me, John Siskovich, the farm manager, so that they can put a face to their food. Uh, people are joining a chicken CSA. I mean, you can buy organic, organic chicken at Whole Foods or another health food store, uh, but they're buying mine specifically because they're buying into an idea of buying local and supporting a local farmer. Uh, I also put a little upsell at the end. I'm going to change this a little bit uh, to add in, you know, that we have a chicken CSA, but don't forget that we have pastured eggs 12 months out of the year. Uh, and that's my sales page. Uh, I, you know, kind of breaking it down for you. If you go to campsroadfarm.com, which is my farm website, go up here to the top products and then chicken CSA, you'll see it. And I'll keep adjusting as I go, adding information, maybe taking a little bit of information off or just adjusting it, uh, depending on how well it's doing. Now I'm doing this video on a Monday, which means Tuesday morning, I have a new podcast coming out. 
And actually, the Monday after this comes out, I have podcast episode 44 coming out where I talk about not only the Chicken CSA project, but the sales and stuff going on at the farm, some updates for the podcast, a lot of really good information, uh, stuff that you definitely want to hear. If you want to go to the iTunes link, you can go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash iTunes, and that's where you can find that episode and some past episodes, or go to growingfarmspodcast.com because that's the name of the show, The Growing Farms Podcast, uh, and I have every other week, I interview farmers from around the country on how do you get started as a farm, where do you find land, everything, you know, all the topics you would want to know to help make your farming business viable, sustainable. And as always, you can go to the hub for the chicken CSA videos. That's the farm sales in 100 days at how to start a CSA.com. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate the time you're taking out of your day to watch these videos. I really hope that they're being a help to you and I will see you out in the fields.